lot of articles about how used graphics cards are starting to flood the market because the rates for Ethereum and Bitcoin are coming down. Now, as of this recording, they're actually coming back up. But anyways, basically people using these graphics cards to mine were like, hey, the rates aren't worth it anymore. So they're just gonna sell their graphics cards off. And my question was, does mining with a graphics card negatively affect its performance? Now, of course, it's probably going to affect its longevity because it's high heat for a long period of time. So I, that's a given. But I wanna know, will it impact things like FPS and benchmark scores? So what I've got here, this is my 3090 Strix from Asus. I bought it back in November of 2020 and in April of this year, my friends put me onto NiceHash. And since then, I've pretty much been mining 24 hours a day. As a matter of fact, I probably made, I would say about $1,000 based on today's rates with this card. I have another 3090 downstairs in my downstairs office. That mines pretty much 24 hours a day, but it's only been like two months since I've got it. And I'm gonna run basically the same benchmarks and FPS tests that I ran when I first put the graphics card in this computer. Here they are. And I'm gonna see if it's dipped at all. All right, let's get honest. This is primarily an editing rig, and so I only installed games for the benchmarks. So I haven't touched those since I did that video, and so it took me like three hours to update those games. I'm gonna do Overwatch, I'm gonna do Call of Duty, uh, which doesn't really have a benchmark, I'm just gonna look at the average FPS, and as well as the Steam benchmark that I ran for this, I think it was Time Spy. So while the benchmarks are running, I figured I'd just kind of answer some questions about NiceHash that some people might have. So first of all, what exactly is NiceHash? The way that I understand it, and I could be wrong, is that there are people who want to have mining power, they wanna mine something, but instead of having their own like totally local rig, they can borrow the mining power of other graphics cards. And so that's what I'm doing. I am lending out mining power from my graphics card to someone out there who's mining Ethereum and I get paid in Bitcoin. So that's kind of how that works. How much did I earn? So all together with this one and that one running pretty much 24 hours a day and right now average Bitcoin prices being about $40,000 per Bitcoin, I've made somewhere in the ballpark of 15 to $1,600 US. How hot does it get and how noisy is it? So as you can see, well, I don't know if you can see here, I leave my case open because I don't mind the sound levels when the case is open, when I'm just like not mining, which is pretty rare these days. But then I leave it open and I manually set the fan curve in MSI Afterburner. And even then it does get loud, but it's not to the point where it's unbearable. Like my wife and I, we sleep right over there. And she at first kind of like complained about it, but now she doesn't mind anymore. If you leave it at its stock fan curve, it will be incredibly loud. So because of that though, because it is a little bit hotter and I turn the fan curve down, uh, my hash rate isn't as great as what a 3090 ought to be. Also because it's in a smaller case, Case, it gets hotter faster too. So typically I think a 3090, 3090's hash rate can be, depending on the algorithm, uh, somewhere in the realm of like 100 to 120. Uh, this one is probably running on the lower end at about 100. So that's kind of what that is. How hot does it get? So right now we're like still in summer. We're, you know, on the verge of coming into fall now, but in the peak of summer, yeah, it did make this room really hot. First of all, this room has a lot of windows, uh, which is great, but it's also a, a curse because there's one right here. There's a lot of natural light um, kind of bouncing into this room and there's a direct window hitting this computer, which doesn't make things any better. But yeah, it would make the room heat up to the point where uh, outside of the bedroom here, this is the office in the bedroom, but outside of the bedroom, it'd probably be like 77 degrees. And then in this space, it's probably gonna be two to three degrees hotter. What do I do for energy? Well, in Pennsylvania, I don't know about other places, you're able to select your own energy provider. And I think this is pretty common. That way there's not a monopoly, like there's a supplier and then there's the guys who deliver it. You're able to choose your supply person. And what I've done is I've gone and looked at the supply and I found the cheapest rates. And generally it seems like uh, people who make wind energy, who make electricity out of wind in Texas are the cheapest. But the problem is you get the shortest time of contracts. I think the results are here. Let's see what happened. Okay, so my score is 18,423. And last time I got 17,935. So somehow I did even better. My graphics score before was 19,778, and now I've got a one of 19,839, and a CPU score of 11,738, and this has skyrocketed to 13,118. So yeah, I mean, I don't know if that confirms anything, like scientifically, but 
uh, at least on the benchmark score, my graphics card is performing even better. And just to confirm that you guys can see, I'll open up MSI Afterburner. You guys can see that I have no, like I have no overclocks on here. This is all pretty stock standard stuff. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure what happened here. Um, let me go ahead and fire up Overwatch. The camera angles aren't the best. I'm doing my best that I don't have like a dedicated camera person. So hopefully you guys can see okay in this camera and out of the other one. So while we wait for my game to start, how much are my monthly electric bills? So they've definitely been a little bit higher, but altogether for my gas and electric, if I combine them together for the entire summer months, it's been about like $180. And that is just slightly higher than what I would normally pay. It's probably gonna be somewhere around the realm of like 40 to $50 extra per month. And then something you also wanna consider is because this room gets hotter, I want the AC to be blasting a little bit more. So that also increases the price a little bit. In the winter, it would be amazing though, because then you won't need to run your heater as high because, well, you basically have space heaters here for you. Another question you might ask is like, how much are you making, you know, you told us your average over, you know, four months, but how much are you making like per day? So that all depends on like the demand. That all depends on how much you're like, what, how much you're mining and how much the supply and demand chain works out. But I would say on average, I'm probably making somewhere when the rates are really low, it was somewhere in the realm of like $8 a day. But when it was super high, like when it was super hot, I was making like $50 a day. Now I would say it probably averages around somewhere between 12 and $20 a day. And again, that's with two 3090s mining. My friends all have 3070s and they tell me that their average per day is somewhere around the realm of like four to $5, which doesn't sound super impressive, but keep in mind their power draw is gonna be significantly less. Like NiceHash has this efficiency number for you and my efficiency is by far the worst out of my friends 3070s. Another possible question might be, you're running a 3090, what, what power supply are you using to be able to power that and mine at the same time? Well, surprisingly, that's the Corsair SF750 and that has been plenty for my uses, right? I, I'm mining perfectly fine with it. I'm able to mine and video edit, like I said before, perfectly fine. So that's crazy CPU and GPU power being utilized at the same time. And I haven't had any issues. There's been no spikes to the point where my PC has shut off, nothing like that. I don't know if we're ever gonna get a game. I don't know what Nvidia Reflex is. This is new. So I don't know if that's gonna impact anything. So I'm not sure what's going on with my FPS. It's like 100, averaging at 107, which is a far cry from the 200 something I used to get. Yeah, I, I'm getting like half the FPS I used to. If you guys know what might be happening, let me know in the comments below, but this is pretty crazy. All right, so Overwatch, I'm getting about half of what I used to get. And I have no idea why. So let's turn on Call of Duty Black Ops and let's see what happens here. Is this a real, oh, the, even in fake war. So oh, was I supposed to? No, see, that was on purpose. Yeah, see, I did that on purpose. 120, a little, maybe a little over 120. Based on my previous, yeah, that's about right, 122. Okay, based on previous benchmarks, my average FPS for Call of Duty in the campaign mode was about 122 FPS, and that's about what I'm seeing here. So it seems like it's an anomaly with Overwatch, but overall, it seems like Mining has not degraded my graphics card performance. Again, this does not, it's not the same thing as graphics card longevity. There's a possibility that my graphics card will die sooner because I'm putting it under extreme stress and extreme heat all the time. So uh, it's not something that I highly recommend unless you guys are, I, I don't know. I don't know who I'd recommend it to. If you guys are looking to make some money off your graphics card because you spend an arm and a leg on it, it's not a bad thing. I've made a good chunk of money as you guys can see. So anyways, this was meant to be a short, fun video, not super technical, but let me know if I made some mistakes in the comments below. And uh, yeah, if I get enough feedback, then we'll make a follow up. Until next time guys, stay safe and as always, stay honest. Mm -hmm.